Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and in this video we will try to understand how would you count occurrences of a string within a string. This is one of the most frequently asked questions in the interview for the fresher. Now in this video I will try to explain the most easiest way to find out the word count of a string within a string. So to do this let me add a class. I give a name for this program as word count demo. The most easiest way to perform this particular operation is with the support of the regular expressions. So I simply say using system dot text dot regular expressions. I would like to have a main method. Now let's try to prepare a message. I say eat dot net sleep.net drink only.net cause developing asp.net mvc applications using csharp.net simply rocks assume that this is the message i just provided and in this message I just wanted to identify how many times a word dot net has been repeated and if you just try to observe this message there are some words which are specified with a space there are some words which are available without a space and there is a uppercase dot net also now if I have a requirement to find out how many words that are available which satisfies a particular string what we can do is I can take a word count where by default I make it as 0. Let's try to take a for each loop. I use a match m in regular expressions provided a method called test matches. So I simply say regex dot matches the message which I wanted to provide as the input and the search pattern. So the search pattern what I have is dot net and uh, once I have this particular thing within the loop what I do is I just increment the count. Now let's try to check it out total count. I just display the word count. Let's try to make it as a startup and let's execute the program. So we just find total count as 4. Now let me just try to check it out is it correct or not. So I just find a dot net first, second, third and four. So even though there is a space or if there is a dot net without a space it is able to identify but there is one thing like say in uppercase also we have a dot net so if you wanted to if you wanted to ignore the case when you wanted to search it simply what I try to do was I just simply say reg exceptions dot ignore case now if I just try to observe it there are one two three and one more dot net which is not having a space and um, uppercase dot net so let me just try to check it out so total is five hope you are clear with this particular video to understand uh, how to search a string within a string thank you if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel this encourages me to develop more and more videos. Thank you, yours Shaker.